Hello, Peter Gelman here. I'd like to discuss with you my theory that the game of baseball is not symmetrical. And that brings up the natural question, why does it matter? Well, it matters to me because it came up when I designed my board game, Rally Bird Baseball. Much to my surprise, I'd always assumed that the game was symmetrical, but I'm going to make an argument that in a certain way of thinking it's not. So I'm going to try to make a beautiful drawing here because beauty is truth. Do you have any idea what I'm drawing here? Okay, so here's an H for home plate. Is that a hint? Okay. One. I'm trying to draw sideways for your benefit. You got your diamond. Well, that does look pretty symmetrical, doesn't it? Even this way. I'm not saying the uh, stadium itself is or is not symmetrical. They're not symmetrical and uh, the, each one's different and that's a delightful thing. The personality of the ballpark partly defined by the the odd shape in the outfield and some go out and then suddenly turn in in certain places and it's confounding and maybe the local players have a sense of uh, how far they can go back back without looking for the wall whereas visiting players don't have that same sense and it's fun but then it's not symmetrical they're idiosyncratic and uh, it still amazes me that one stadium has ivy on its wall I think that's great but I'm leaving that out of the argument I'm just talking about the uh, diamond area and uh, look it's symmetrical there's different kinds of symmetry we don't have to get into the different definitions and uh, but uh, visually yes it's symmetrical but I didn't say the field is not symmetrical I'm talking about the game so we're talking about the game we're talking about uh, the dynamics of play how it moves through time so it's more than just a field, it's how the players use the field. And I have a little bit of an anal analogy. I can see my iPad's timed out. Let's get that clock back. Here we go. So is the clock symmetrical? Well, let's just ignore the, the numbers. Um, circle. Circles are symmetrical. But you got movement in a certain direction. It moves one way and not the other. What does that mean for symmetry? Well, I think it uh, makes it a problem when you, if you're going to say a clock is symmetrical. A clock is uh, including its movement. Uh, similar for the baseball field. Yes, it goes counterclockwise. And uh, why does that matter for terms of symmetry? Well, players are moving along it and uh, consider an infield right where your runners are impacts the way it's fielded and the way the fielder will throw it to the base and it's the way that the that becomes a factor is not symmetrical so I'm talking about the game of baseball being not symmetrical. What color have I used? Let's try blue. So let's say you have a runner on first trying to get to second and the batter hits it over here. Well, it, it will be a little bit of a challenge some of the time for the fielder to throw the runner out at second base because the runner will have a head start and the, the ball the uh, fielder needs to throw it at the same direction that the fielder is I'm sorry let me start over the fielder is throwing the ball in the same direction that the runner is running and so that will decrease the the time differential of the of the path of the ball and the fielder has to be careful not to hit the runner in the back with the baseball it's not going to be a huge difference from here, but it will be a difference some of the time. 
the fielder catches it here, well, you got your rudder throwing, running this way, so the speed of the ball is not reduced by them traveling the same direction, and uh, more likely the fielder will be throwing to second base if there's a runner here, so you get the out and possible double play, uh, because uh, they're going, they're two trains going toward the same station as opposed to a train following another train. And there will be no runner, runners coming from first base, there's no runner that the fielder needs to worry about hitting in the back. So in that sense, the game is not symmetrical. And uh, I noticed in this book, uh, Keith Hernandez made famous from Seinfeld, maybe another reason, yeah, he was a baseball player that you may have heard of. There's a, a lot of uh, anecdotal description. He, he structures this book around analysis of two ball games. And one thing I love about it is he has 20 pages on the hit and run. So this is not uh, statistical scientific evidence, but he has a lot of paragraphs like this which mention the utility of hitting it to the right side versus the left. So I'm going to read you a bit of a paragraph. <coughs> With Cabrera on second, nobody out, the textbook on offensive strategy says that Damon Berryhill has one main job. At the very least, he should move Cabrera to third base by hitting the ball on the ground to the right side of the infield. The runner will move up easily and then be in a position to score on a sacrifice fly to the outfield. If the ball is hit to the left side, third base or shortstop, the runner has to hold at second because the third baseman would just tag him out if he tried to advance, or the shortstop would have a short throw to third. I had to think about this question uh, when designing the game, and uh, this may not make sense to you if you have not seen my How to Play video, which is available on YouTube for you guys. Uh, you can see here's a two different hits to different side. Here's the board. Is it on screen here? A little picture of the board. And I had to, uh, when designing, I had to figure out advantages and disadvantages of one card versus the other when hitting an infield left and hit, or hitting an infield right. And I'm not going to go into the details because if you haven't seen how to play video, this may just confuse you. But that's why it matters to me to consider the question, is the game of baseball symmetrical? My conclusion is that it's not. And that's, it's a subtle, but it is a fun thing when considering your tactics when playing the game. If you're interested in uh, learning more, check out my unboxing video, my other baseball theory videos, or uh, take a look at my website. And, uh, I'll put uh, the link to my website and how to purchase the game in the show notes. Thanks.